me some ice Just give me a pinch and save a buzz for my pillow Salt me a prawn Talk to me nice, you got to wine And the time I'm getting hungry Fill me a grave I'm Laura Bonicelli, and we are cooking with Italian style. It's not always fast, it's not always easy, and it's not always Italian. We use the freshest and finest ingredients that we can find and afford, and we not only savor the meals we make, we savor making them. That is cooking with Italian style. Today, we're making a dish that I would be happy to have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's my delicious stuffed zucchini blossom omelet. Let's get cooking. I ran over to St. Paul this week to my friend Aaron's garden and grabbed some zucchini blossoms, and this is what I came up with. Thanks, by the way, Aaron, for letting me raid your garden. Anyway, so I've already chopped up about a cup of cremini mushrooms, which are basically baby portobellos, and I have some leek here. I took um, the stem off and the top off. I'm working with just the light parts of it, and I washed it really well because dirt can really hide in these little layers. And then what I'm gonna do with this is basically cut it lengthwise, like so, and then just chop it. And it'll give me nice, small pieces that are going to lend a wonderful garlicky, oniony flavor to our omelets. Now this omelet, recipe is for two, um, and I'm thinking you could probably actually get a little more out of this stuffing, but we'll see how it goes, okay. All right, that's it for the leek. And then finally, what we've got here is a small zucchini that I picked up at the farmer's market. I'm just gonna cut the ends off of that. I've already washed it. And then I've got a ceramic grater here and I'm just gonna grate that right into the same bowl. All of these are gonna be sauteed together, so that's why I'm not separating them. Okay, so I'll finish grating this up and then we will start sauteing. I've got my burner going over medium heat and I'm just going to put about a half a tablespoon of butter in my pan to melt. I'm just gonna swirl that around a little bit to coat my pan and then in go all at once my vegetables. And we'll just saute these. I love, by the way, how that mandolin grates. I used to have one of those big ones that was really, really efficient, kind of hard to use, and a little dangerous. And this one, these little mandolins just work really nicely. Okay, we'll let these go for a little while and soften them up. These still have a ways to go, but I'm just going to season them lightly with a little salt and pepper. That the salt will help with the softening process. There's a pepper. I still think a couple more minutes to go here. These look great. This took about five minutes and they smell great too, by the way. So what I'm gonna do is take these off the heat, let them cool them down, or let them cool down, and then we will mix up our stuffing. So these have cooled down nicely and I'm just gonna dump them into a larger bowl like that and then I'm gonna to add to that some ricotta, about a quarter of a cup, and no, I didn't make this myself. I usually do, but not this time. And then I'm just gonna mix this all together. I'll give it one little final taste to see if it needs more salt and pepper, and then let's make our omelet. So here are my beautiful zucchini blossoms, and what we're gonna do with those is just pull the stem off, it comes right off, and then I'm gonna take a knife and cut it right in half, all the way through, like that, and pull out the pistol. That is edible, but it's a little chewy, so I think we're gonna take it out for this purpose. And these will be sauteed flat and laid right on top of our omelet. Now, set those aside for our omelet. Just wipe off my hands. We are taking two eggs, we're gonna make these individually. One, and two, and to that, I'm gonna just add a little bit of milk, which will help thin it out and break it up when we whisk it, and a little salt, 
and a little pepper, and about a half a teaspoon of chopped tarragon, which is absolutely lovely, very common in French cooking. Don't overdo it though, it's pretty strong stuff. And then I'll whisk these up really quickly. Okay, and I'll give it a final whisk before we actually put it into the pan. Then turning on my burner, and I'm gonna melt a half of a tablespoon of butter, again, over medium heat. Okay, my butter bubbled up nicely, and now I'm just pouring in my egg. I don't want this burner too hot. And then I just start dragging my spatula through it like this and turning my pan so that the eggs fill in. I want a nice thin omelet here. This goes really quickly. Now, once it's filled in and you really can't get it to move around anymore, let's see if I can get those two filled in there. Great. Okay, now I'm just gonna go around the edge and I'm gonna let this sit like this until it becomes dull. Then we'll be ready to fill the omelet. So you can see how that's nicely set. And then I'm just gonna drop in half of my filling. Remember, we can make two omelets with this, right into the center like that. And then I'm just gonna roll this one end up over, oops, hopefully it will stay, and the other end up like that. And then we will just slide this right out of the pan onto our plate. Beautiful. Okay, and another, well, this is probably about a teaspoon of butter. We're gonna just melt that up quickly here to saute our zucchini blossoms. Nice. And then in go our blossoms. And these will just soften up nicely. Now, the blossoms just wilted. I didn't turn them or anything. I just let them sizzle for a little while. And now I'm going to just pull one out of the pan and put it right on top of our omelet. So aren't these just beautiful? Oops. Let's just pull that over a little bit. Had such a nice color, and they actually have quite an earthy flavor, which goes really well with that filling with the zucchini and the mushrooms. Beautiful. And then to garnish, I'm just gonna take some tarragon leaves and lay them right on the plate. Just like that, just for a little color. Isn't that just beautiful? If you want this recipe and more, go to solobybonicelli.com and click on the recipe button. I really hope you enjoy making my stuffed zucchini blossom omelet and cooking with Italian style. Thanks Parc Petit for the great wardrobe and bon appetito!